We bring you the newest and most talked about movies that are coming to theater this week. It is weekly premiere. It's finally Academy season. We'll introduce you one, uh, all Academy nominations one by one. I think we've already covered some films, including Don't Look Up and Dune. Today we have PTA's Paul Thomas Anderson's latest and Academy-nominated film, Licorice Pizza. This is a film written and directed by PTA. Uh, and before I talk about this film, there is no pizza just in case you're curious to know. The film stars Alana Haim and Cooper Hoffman. Actually, Cooper Hoffman is the son of late Philip Seymour Hoffman. And it's, this is their film debuts. As well as we see Sean Penn, Tom Waits, Bradley Cooper, and Vanny Safdie. The story takes place in 1973, San Fernando Valley. A 15-year-old Gary Valentine prepares for his high school picture day. He notices 25-year-old Alana, a photographer's assistant, and strikes up a conversation with her. She rebuffs his advances when meets him for dinner, and they begin a friendship in the beginning. Gary attends auditions and appears in variety show with Lucy Ball, and when Gary's mother cannot take him to perform in New York, Alana chaperones him instead. This film is the story of Alana Kane and Gary Valentine growing up, running around, and falling in love in the San Fernando Valley. He tracks the treacherous navigation of the first uh, of first love. Twenty years ago, Anderson was walking by a middle school in real life in LA on, on picture day, and he observed one of the students nagging the female photographer and had an idea of the student having an adult relationship with the photographer. So basically, the screenplay of this film, Licorice Pizza, evolved from this experience and additional stories told to Anderson by his friend Gary Getzman, who was actually a child actor who has starred in the film Yours, Mine, and Ours with Lucille Ball, appeared on the uh, Ed Sullivan Show, and eventually studied a water bed company, just like in the film, and Pinball Arcade. Getzman at one time delivered the water bed to John Peters' home, which actually happens in the film. Anderson considered Fast Times at uh, Richmond High and American Graffiti as major influences in the making of Licorice Pizza. The working title of the film first was reported as Soggy Bottom, which is the brand name for Waterbed uh, in the film. But later, the film was officially titled Licorice Pizza after a former chain of record shops in Southern California. He explained if there's two words that make me kind of have a Pavlovian response and memory of a big child and running around. It's licorice and pizza. It instantly takes me back to that time. He says that the word seemed like a catch-all for the feeling of the film that go well together and maybe capture mood. This film received a claim from critics and received three nominations at this year's Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Original Screenplay. And I saw it through Korean press premiere, and the, this film also received fanatic reviews from Korean film critics. This also received three awards already from the National Board of Review, including Best Film, and it was unnamed as one of the best films of 2021 by AFI, American Film Institute. Now, all about Korea. Korea. Arirang Radio. Another new release that we have for this week is Uncharted. This film is currently number one at the box office in Korea. This is an adventure film directed by Ruben Fleischer. And the film is based on the PlayStation game series of the same name, developed by someone named Naughty Dog. This film stars Tom Holland as Nathan Drake and Mark Wahlberg as his mentor, Victor Sullivan. In the film, Drake is recruited by Sullivan in a race against Santiago Monaca, uh, played by Antonio Vanderas and Joe Braddock, to locate the fabled treasure of the Magellan Expedition. 
This film received mixed reviews from critics who praised the action sequences, visuals, acting, uh, especially chemistry between Holland and Warburg, but criticized its screenplay and cliches from um, other films such as Indiana Jones and Police Story. I have a little synopsis for you. Uh, Street smart Nathan Drake, played by Tom Holland, is recruited by treasure hunter Victor Sully Sullivan, by, played by Mark Warburg, to recover a fortune amassed by Magellan and lost 500 years ago by the House of Moncada. What starts as a heist job for the duo becomes glove trotting white knuckle race to reach the prize before the ruthless Santiago, Santiago Moncada, who believes he and his family are the rightful Harris. If Nate and Sully can decipher the clues and solve one of the world's oldest mysteries, they stand to find $5 billion in treasure and perhaps even Nate's long lost brother but only if they can learn to work together. This film sound, sounds like heavily male-centric, but refreshingly, it's the female characters who are the most badass in the film. Sully's longtime treasure hunting associate, Chloe, more than keeps up with the guys when it comes to physical action scenes. And Moncado's blade, uh, uh, Moncado's henchwoman, Braddock, is a homicidal villainess who could give James Bond a run for his money. Oven Gleiberman of Variety found this film uh, to be watchable in a thin Raiders of the Lost National Treasure of the Fast and Furious Caribbean way. <laughs> this is a great description. So we get to see three films at once. Jeffrey Vega said the film plays it safe, but it's mostly fun and effective adventure with an especially charming Tom Holland. Todd Christ, uh, Christ, Glidest praised Tom Holland's performance as Nathan Drake citing an undeniable charisma and a sincerity on screen that makes him tirelessly likable. So all the praises go to uh, Tom Holland. The director of this film, Uncharted, Ruben Fleischer, is, was actually a music video director before he transitioned to movie industry. He is best known as of now as the director of Zombieland, which came out in 2009, and his first, fe uh, which is his first feature film, and its sequel, Zombieland Double Tap. He also directed the films 30 Minutes or Less, Gangster Squad, and 2018's Venom. Prior to these films, he directed television commercials as well, like Burger King and music videos for Mia and Gold Chains. It seems like he never stopped working until now. He's one of the most prolific creators for sure. We ran out of movies for today, but I hope you had a great time with us. And please check out Licorice Pizza if it's playing in your area. It's a great, great, great film and it shows stunning performance by main actors. Have fun and stay fun. It was Marley from Cine Factory. You just listened to weekly premiere. We'll be back with exciting new movie next week. So please come back. <laughs>